First, take out of all items from the package. There are camera, screws, power cord, RCA video cable. Pick up the monitor, not include. Connect the monitor to the cigarette lighter adapter. Then plug the power adapter into the cigarette lighter outlet. The monitor lights up. Pick up the camera. The camera can be flexibly adjusted. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screws. Pick up the screws. You can use screws to fix the camera where you want. Like my operation. Pick up the RCA video cable. Connect the yellow connector of the RCA video cable to the extension cable of the camera. Connect the power cord to the red connector on the camera extension cord. You can use a tool to cut off the outer rubber. Please be careful not to cut the copper wire. Red is positive, black is negative. The red wire is connected to the positive pole of the reverse light on 12 volts power supply. The black wire is connected to the reverse light in the negative terminal of the 12 volts power supply. Connect the yellow connector of the RCA video cable to the white connector of the monitor extension cable. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. Cover the camera with your hand and hold the sensor with your finger. You can see IR light. Like my operation. Pick up the red thin wire on the RCA video cable. Disconnect the camera's power in the cigarette lighter. Connect the power cord to the monitor. Connect the red thin wire on the RCA video cable of the monitor to the positive pole of the power cord. Connect the thin red wire on the RCA video cable of the camera to the positive pole of the power cord. The red wire is connected to the positive pole of the reverse light on 12 volts power supply. The black wire is connected to the reverse light in the negative terminal of the 12 volts power supply. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. Or you can also supply power from the monitor's power cord. Like my operation. The black wire is connected to the reverse light in the negative terminal of the 12 volts power supply. The red wire is connected to the positive pole of the reverse light on 12 volts power supply. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. There is a white wire and a green wire on the camera extension cable. If you cut the green line, the guideline will not appear on the screen. Use a tool to cut the green wire. No guideline appear on the screen. Now the monitor is in mirror mode. Use a tool to cut the white wire. The monitor becomes the normal mode. If you want the guideline to appear on the screen, use a tool to cut off the rubber outside the green line. Merge the cut green wire. The guideline appears on the screen. The monitor is now in normal mode. Use a tool to cut off the rubber outside the white wire. Merge cut white lines. The monitor returns to mirror mode. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole.
camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom 